Hello, this is John D. Callahan, and this is how to do your wash for peanuts. This is, avoids the expense of a washer and dryer and the maintenance, and also the gas and electricity that a washer and dryer uses. If you use a laundromat, it saves the gas uh, in your car driving to the laundromat, and of course, the cost of using the washer and dryer at a laundromat. So, first thing you do is you throw all your clothes in a bathtub. Then you put, put your soap in. You use an inexpensive detergent. This is from Dollar Tree. You get 32 loads for a dollar. So it's just a few pennies for a load. Put a little extra detergent where the clothes are dirty. And let's get this started. All right, we've got the wash going now and it's good to have a cushion to kneel on while you're washing. Now I'm kneeling down and I'm going to agitate the clothes in the water for several minutes or in, until I think everything has been sufficiently washed. And then we, after that, we'll drain the water and rinse everything. All right, I've been washing a few minutes now and you can see all the dirt that's come up and the dirty water. And obviously also you can adjust the temperature of the water to whatever you would like. All right, let's finish the wash cycle up and work, uh, move on to the rinse. Now I've rinsed the clothes by draining the dirty water, putting fresh clean water in, agitating the clothes and the water, draining that water and putting in some fresh water and repeating the process a few times. You can see now that the water is clear and the clothes are clear. I'm going to now drain this last um, batch of water and then wring the clothes out. I've now drained the rinse water and to dry you take one article of clothes at a time. For example, this is a sock and you wring out the water. Now for a shirt, you take two hands and, and wring it out, and uh, I will do that now. I've wrung out one shirt and one sock and hung them up. You can use both hands, and it's helpful to do so, to kind of stretch the fabric out a little, and that will reduce wrinkles. I'll now hang up the rest of the clean clothes. All the clothes are hung out and wrung up now. Obviously, you want to have a gizmo like this where you can hang the clothes. You can also use a shower curtain and you can see some of the some of the clothes are hung up on the shower cur uh, curtain rod and the clothes drip into the bathtub. Optionally, you can use a fan to help circulate air and dry the clothes. And for small loads, you can use a sink. So this is John D. Callahan, and that's how to save money and wash your clothes for peanuts.